I'm always amazed when I look at a well-trained bonsai tree. There is so much beauty in these living pieces of art. I have been practicing bonsai for more than 20 years, but only recently, tinkering with this art form, has it become a passion for me. In order to improve my skills and appreciation for the art, I realized I need help. After working with an accomplished bonsai artist, Gary Wharton, I was pumped. The passion he has for bonsai is infectious. We worked together for eight hours. The time went by like a flash. I realized I had dwindled away many years of personal growth from the lack of knowledge and correct technique. I was determined to do something about it. I registered immediately for the Pacific Northwest Bonsai Convention. Working under the tutelage of many world-class artists and viewing outstanding museum pieces, I was inspired to take a three-day workshop with Michael Hagendorn. Michael is one of the upcoming North American masters of the art of bonsai. He shared with me how he became involved. Uh, I was about 16 years old when I found a book in my parents' library uh, about bonsai and I, uh, I was doing a lot of painting and drawing back then uh, when I was a teenager. So bonsai was this, uh, this beautiful marriage uh, between art and, uh, and, and nature and I took to it immediately and ever since I was 16 I've always had a few bonsai. That was, I don't know, about 25 uh, years ago now and when I got out of graduate school in ceramics I um, uh, began a business making containers for bonsai trees. Uh, those trees got more and more interesting to me and I started studying with a man in Japan uh, in 2003, um, Mr. Shinji Suzuki, and I studied with him for two and a half years. But uh, my love for trees brought me there and it was, uh, it was something I would, I would do again in a heartbeat. What would you recommend to a person interested in bonsai? I would recommend finding a teacher, somebody that they trust. I, I think it's, it's a very hands-on kind of activity that you can't learn through words. It's, it's a real challenge. You typically find that people say, I don't want to take up bonsai. I'm not ready for it yet. It's for old people. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a shame. It, it's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, I, I think it's a lot cooler than it looks. But <laughs> you're, you're right, some young people don't, don't see the, the, the magic. Uh, I think one of the things that's very beautiful about bonsai is, um, is that it, it allows us to connect with something that uh, throws our, our impatience into, into question um, uh, because we're, we seem to be fed a lot of impatient uh, uh, kind of signals uh, in the society we live in and I think uh, bonsai is a, is a different route. Uh, it's certainly uh, not just therapy but it's also a way to connect with the seasons. Bonsai are, are many different things, not just conifers but also deciduous trees and um, and if you have an interest in nature, uh, as many young people do, uh, or an interest in art, uh, that's uh, uh, a rather beautiful melding of the two. Working with Gary, Michael, and other bonsai artists has been a renaissance for me. So much for my past mistakes. I'm excited and looking forward to my new growth in the art of bonsai. <laughs>